Welcome to Screencast 4A using the loan payment formula. In the problem that we're going to work now, we are looking at a student loan of $30,000 that has an APR of 9% for 20 years. First, we're going to calculate the monthly payments. Then we're going to look at the option of paying off the loan in 10 years rather than 20. Calculate that monthly payment Finally, we're going to compare the two amounts to figure out how much we would save by paying off the loan in 10 years rather than going the full 20 years. The formula that we're going to use is on the left-hand side of the screen about two-thirds of the way down. This is a fairly standard formula. Sometimes the variables are a bit different. For instance, instead of using APR, your formula may have a lowercase r. And instead of using y for the loan term in number of years, your formula may use t for time. But the calculations are the same. To begin, we are going to figure out what the monthly payments would be for a 20-year loan at 9%. The first step in doing any of these problems is to carefully plug in the information given into the problem. In our particular problem, the starting loan principal is $30,000, so we will put that into the numerator, times the percentage rate of our loan, which is 9%, converted to a decimal, divided by the number of payment periods per year, which in this case, since they're monthly payments, would be 12. Moving to our denominator, because there are really nested parentheses, we're using brackets for the outer parentheses. 1 minus, then we'll open our left parenthesis, 1 plus, again, the APR, 9 hundredths, divided by the number of payments per year, 12. Close the left-hand parentheses, all raised to, and you don't want to forget this, there is a minus sign, the number of payments per year, times the number of years, which would be 20. And then I'm going to close the denominator brackets. To enter this into our calculator, we're going to do it in one entry, which means we have to be very careful about the way we enter this. If you look at the numerator, you will see that there is more than one thing going on here. We have $30,000 times an amount that involves division. Because of that, we really need to put brackets around the numerator as well. So I'm going to add those here. I'm also going to add them in the actual formula. Although your textbook doesn't do that, because there are two operations up there, it really should be done, so we're going to take care of that right away. I also will highlight the denominator brackets in red, just so they show up better when I illustrate how you can enter this into your calculator. We're going to start with opening a parenthesis, and the since we don't have square brackets on our calculator, that's the key that's right above the 8 key on your TI-30X. Then we're going to enter 30,000 times, open parenthesis, 0 0.09 divided by 12, close the parenthesis, close the second parenthesis, which for us was a bracket, divided by, which is the major division fraction bar symbol in our problem, open the bracket again, followed by 1 minus parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.09, divided by 12, close the parenthesis, raise to, remember that 
The symbol for that is the caret key. It is located above the x squared button, below the pi button, in the first column of your calculator keys. It alerts the calculator that an exponent is coming. Because this exponent involves an operation, we're going to put parentheses around it. Now we need to make sure we use a negative sign right here. And don't confuse the negative with a minus. The negative key is under the 3. It's minus 12 times 20. Close the parenthesis. Close the final bracket. It's always a good idea to arrow back. You can use the left arrow key on your calculator. Arrow back to the beginning, follow it across as you're entering to make sure you haven't forgotten to close a parenthesis, close a bracket, put it in a division sign. A little extra patience right now will pay off in the end. If you have done this correctly, you should see that the monthly payment is going to be $269 and 92 cents. Up here in our problem, I'm going to enter that amount so that we can keep track of it. Now we're going to pay off the loan in 10 years instead of 20. The only change that means in our formula is that in the denominator, instead of putting in a 20 for 20 years, we can enter a 10 for 10 years. I'm going to erase out the 20 there and here and put in 10 years instead of our 20 years. Re-enter our formula. We find that our monthly payment using 10 instead of 20 is $380 and three cents. If you're using the TI-30X or a graphing calculator like the TI-84, TI-83, you can actually edit your formula without re-entering the entire formula. If you up arrow into the formula using the up arrow key, which is right here on the top, and then back up using the left arrow key, you can actually type over so you can go backwards in the problem and wherever you see a 20 in your formula, replace it with a 10, press enter, and that saves you some entering time. I'm going to record our answer now of $380 and 3 cents next to Part B. You'll notice that certainly the monthly payments are less if you take out the loan for 20 years rather than 10 years, which may be a consideration when you determine how you're going to pay off a student loan. But for our purposes, it's interesting to compare how much more you will pay off by extending your loan for 20 years. If we take our monthly payment of $269.92, we know we're going to be making that payment once a month, so we're going to multiply it by 12 for 20 years. That figures to be a future value of this particular loan of $64,780.80, which means that we're paying $34,780.80 in interest on this loan. If we decide that we can afford to pay the loan back in 10 years, we can afford that difference in a monthly payment. We take our $380.03, multiply that by 12, and then by 10 years rather than 20, the future value, total payoff, of this loan turns out to be $45,603. And 60 cents, meaning that if you can pay it off in 10 years, your interest charge is $15,603.60. You actually end up saving $19,177.20 if you pay the loan off in 10 years rather than 20. Thank you for viewing this screencast.